Hey guys, good Monday evening. Uh, this is Billy Cox. I'm your instructor for this class, History of 102. We're going to be studying the history of Western civilization post-1689. Uh, in essence, we are going to uh, run ourselves up to fr from the uh, Glorious Revolution in Great Britain or in England, uh, the United Kingdom. Uh, we're going to run ourselves from that all the way up to modern day to the European Union, in essence. Uh, this course is a great course. I'm looking forward to teaching you guys in this course. Uh, it is 100% online. Uh, therefore, it is incredibly important that you guys find your way to getting this textbook ASAP, absolutely as soon as possible. Your test comes directly from this textbook, so I highly encourage you guys, go get the textbook, get busy reading. Uh, your <clears throat> the other an, Another thing that is going to be very important to you is D2L. Uh, obviously, with an online course, we're going to use our learning management system. Uh, we're going to rely upon that very heavily. Uh, if you will, uh, go over to D2L. It's, uh, uh, you're, you're obviously you're on D2L now, but if you will, go over to uh, the Contents tab. Uh, pause the video, go over to the Contents tab, and print off for me the Instructor Supplement, which will be listed uh, on the left-hand side, you'll see the table of contents there, and you'll see a Western Civ introduction, etc. Uh, go to that particular uh, chapter in our contents tab and print off the instructor supplement for me, and I'll be waiting on you here as you pause the video. Okay, fantastic. You guys are back. Um, Here's your instructor supplement. This is my copy, as you guys can see. Uh, you'll notice this table is very important. And really quickly, I want to walk you guys through this table. Uh, first of all, at the top, and I've also already posted this on the news feed on D2L, is the way for you to get in touch with me. Uh, email me at william.cox at hgtc.edu, or you can text me or call me on my cell phone. Now, real quickly, if you email me through WaveNet or through D2L, I will get those and I will respond to them, but I will tell you guys that my experience has been when you guys send instructors emails through that, it takes us longer to reply. I get my hgtc.edu email immediately uh, right on my laptop computer <clears throat> where I can reply very quickly. So I would encourage you guys to use my william.cox at hgtc.edu address rather than emailing me through uh, D2L. But either way is fine. Now, Secondly, uh, I am on campus. I teach on all three campuses for Ori Georgetown Tech, and I am absolutely more than willing to meet you guys. If you need me to meet you to go over some information or what have you, if you have a particular question that you want to come to me with, that is fine. However, I need to structure that around my other classes. I've put my, I, I put my schedule, my on-campus schedule, they're on the top of the instructional supplement. <clears throat> um, again, the textbook is required. It's Kidner et al. Making Europe the Story of the West, second edition, 2014. Now, uh, below that, you will see this table that I talked about earlier. This is going to give you the grades that are going to be in this course, the, 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 the assessments that you're going to get in this course or you're going to have in this course, and the particular time periods that the test is open, etc. Now, Really quickly, all of the tests that you're going to take in this course are going to be administered on D2L. So you can be sitting in the comfort of your home, on your couch, with your cat, your dog, whoever, whatever, and take your test on D2L. All of your tests are going to be open book and open notes. Now, it's important to note that your tests are going to average around 40 some odd questions. Uh, that, that I try to keep it in that range, 40 some odd questions. They're going to be multiple choice, multiple select, uh, and then some short answer or, or paragraph form essay questions, if you will. Now, if you've had me in other classes, you know that in my in-person United States history courses, I require five paragraph essay questions for each test. We're not doing that because we have an accelerated term here. However, for example, on your first test, there are two uh, long answer, if you will, questions. And by long answer, I mean a good solid paragraph. I don't need you to write me a book about this. I designed the questions specifically so they could be answered in a paragraph. 
Now, a paragraph is more than one sentence. A paragraph is about five sentences that contains one complete thought, okay, or one complete idea. I want to see how you guys are thinking, okay? Now, so the day of your test, there, 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 there is a window for your testing. Your first test will cover chapters 16 through 17, and it will open or be available for you to take that test beginning March 12th at 5 a.m. For those of you who want to get up really early and get things started like I do, 5 a.m. March 12th, you can go take your test. No problem. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now, your due date, the drop dead, absolutely, you must have your test completed, is March 16th, Wednesday, March 16th, 11.30 p.m. March 16th, 1130 p.m. And if you'll note, if you're following along, you'll see those dates are right there listed on your uh, instructor supplement. These are also listed in D2L for you guys. Uh, that is your drop dead moment, though. If you have not taken that test by 1130 on March 16th, um, unless they're the, the only excuse that you could possibly have is an excuse that you really don't want to have to give me like there's been a death in the family or something along those lines. Okay. But I do understand life happens. If you find yourself in a situation where because of life circumstances beyond your control, you're not going to make that deadline. You have to let me know before 1115 15 minutes before the deadline, okay? Yeah, that's not going to work for me. But if you know something's going on, if you're scheduled for surgery over those three days or something, I don't know, whatever, just talk to me and we'll work that out, okay? Um, now, like I said, you have five tests. Each test carries a weight or a value of 160 points. Your first test consists of, and I'm going to grab my phone because I have this on my phone, uh, your first test will consist of 35 multiple choice questions and then two questions that require a lengthier, uh, a more lengthy response, if you will, a paragraph response. And I'm going to talk about those two questions before, the, before I end this uh, video. Now, uh, real quickly, you get 160 points per, uh, per test. And then uh, you also will achieve a possible, or you have a possible 200 points for your final exam. Final exam will be taken online. It will be taken in the comfort of your own home. It will be taken open notes, open book, um, and it's worth 200 points. Now, on your final exam, very specifically, it opens May 3rd, 5 a.m., and you have to have it completed by May 5th. 11.30 p.m., there are no exceptions to that because I have to get it graded and I have to post the grades to uh, the registrar's office for the college. So there is no bending on that one. If, however, you know that you're going to be out of town or otherwise indisposed or whatever, I can make arrangements for you to take the exam earlier. Okay. Uh, but let's not get crazy. I don't want anyone taking the final exam next week. Now, all of your tests are specifically, uh, I am not going to open the tests before the moment listed in the instructional supplement and that listed on D2L because I want you guys to be reading through this material. I want you to be covering it. Under D2L, I've, I've arranged those in modules, as you'll see. And the chapters are listed under those particular modules. I've provided you guys with an outline for each chapter that should help you begin your studies. Now, as you look on page number two of the instructional supplement, you will see uh, 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 learning objectives listed. Unit one is Absolutism, Scientific Revolution, and the Enlightenment. And then there are nine learning objectives or indicators or goals, if you will, that are listed under there. You should be using those to help guide your reading, to help guide your study. If, 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 for example, you're reading in your text and it is laying out absolutism in major European states of France, England, and Prussia, that is learning objective number two for unit one. I guarantee you there's a very large portion of your test that is going to address that. Okay, Every question on your test can be directly related to these learning objectives, okay? That's the way I create my test. Uh, again, test one opens March 12th. 
Uh, closes Wednesday, March 16th. Now, essay questions are, are paragraph questions, long answer on your test, what have you. Timing of your test is 150 minutes. That gives you plenty of time to take care of the few multiple choice questions that you have and then really dive in and dig into your essay questions. Okay, I want to know how you guys are thinking. I want to know that you're beginning to think historically, that you're looking at cause and effect and you're looking at implications of the historical events. Your first essay question or your first long answer, whatever we want to decide to call it, is why did the Austrian Habsburgs fail to implement absolutism as the French had done? Why did the Austrian Habsburgs fail to implement absolutism as the French had done? Now, as you're reading through, there's an entire chapter on basically absolutism. Part of that chapter discusses the Habsburgs. Part of it discusses the French. So why couldn't the Habsburgs implement that absolutism like the French did? Okay, that's an important concept that I want to make sure you guys have grasped. Okay, your second essay question is going to be from chapter 17. And I'm telling you this up front. I'm rewarding those of you who are actually watching this video. Isn't that cool? All right, so how did Hobbes and Locke contradict each other with respect to their ideas of human nature? How did this extend into the political philosophy of the time? I'll repeat it. How did Hobbes, that would be Thomas Hobbes, and Locke, that would be John Locke, how did Thomas Hobbes and John Locke contradict each other with respect to their ideas of human nature? How did this extend into the political philosophy of the time? So, you're sitting there, you're getting ready to take your test. If it were me, I've just given you the essay question. If it were me, I would open up a Microsoft Word document and I would hammer out, here's my answer. Okay, one paragraph, guys. Please don't write me a thesis. Okay, one paragraph, five, maximum 10 sentences. Okay, five sentences minimum, minimum. 10 max. Hey, if you go 12 sentences, I'm not going to cry over it, but please try to keep it brief, okay? Just nail the high points. Now, two things. Make sure that your grammar is correct, okay? Because if I can't understand the if I can't understand your point you're getting across because you've completely murdered subject verb agreement or whatever, that's not going to do you any good, okay? Now, number 2, do not or number number B do not, please do not write as if you are text messaging your bro, okay, or your homie. All right, this is formal academic writing. Please help me out there with that, okay? Uh, let's see, is there anything else? Tests, um, they're listed on your instructor, instructor supplement. Learning objectives are listed. Uh, I've got it broken down for you guys on pages two, three, and four. Um, okay, always, 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 if you have any questions, please do not contact, do not hesitate to contact me, right? Please don't contact, that's crazy. Please do not hesitate to contact me. I will be doing additional videos. I'm going to do my very level best to keep them under 15 minutes because I know you have a lot to do. Please read your chapters. Read, 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 read. You will not pass this test, this these tests or this course if you're not willing to do some reading. Okay. Uh, time limit on the test is 150 minutes. That should give you plenty of time. There's no the, 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 there's no way it'll take you guys that long. Your test will be immediately graded with the exception of the long answer form, paragraph, essay, two questions there that I just gave you the questions for, okay? I have to go in and grade those. So don't freak out if you did not get a really high grade, okay? It, because I have to go in and grade those other ones, okay? The rest of them, the multiple choice is automatically graded for, for you guys. Uh, but I'll go in and, and, and grade the essays. All right, guys, I'm looking forward to having a great semester with you guys. Please contact me, email me, or text me uh, with any questions that you have. Um, I've also created a general question discussion board on our class website. So have a great day. Looking forward to it. Peace, guys.